Uh, next up, we have Nate Strauser. Hi, I'm Nate Strauser. I am a media freelancer. Uh, I do a lot of mentoring with uh, people that are, you know, uh, coming up to speed with media and you know are familiar with other frameworks and want to know how to do things the right way in media. And I also do contract work. Uh, so I want to show a product that I recently built for a client. Um, and this is Dobies. It's kind of like a um, a local Etsy for amateur bakers that um, you know your mom or your sister or a housewife down the street that um, is really good at making cakes or baked goods of some sort, but it's not their full time job. Um, so we allow them to set up a online shop uh, like this one from uh, that has lots of delicious looking treats on it um, and. These items are not, uh, they're not in, in inventory. Uh, so the baker actually you know, produces a schedule of when they're able to do things, um, how, much, how many items they can make at a certain time, and they're made to order for you for some date in the future. Um, when the baker actually does it, they have a fairly complex uh, interface to our inter, uh, capacity management system that they set up. Um, it's, it's a little bit of an eyesore, and we're going to redesign it slightly. But you know, they have to set delivery windows, because they actually do the delivery. They also have pickup windows where you can come to their house and pick it up from them. Um, and this kind of ties into the whole system where you could add something to your cart. And um, when you have it in your cart, you have to pick, like, you know, do you want delivery or pickup, and then a particular date and time when you want it to arrive in the future. Um, and if you're, that's if you're looking at it from like a particular baker standpoint. If you just thought, you know, I want something for Monday at noon, uh, you can put in various filters, or if you knew you wanted like a cake or cookies for at a certain time, and just browse through and see what's available for that particular time. Um, so this was the first e-commerce product that I ever constructed, and I kind of thought it would be pretty easy that I could just go on Atmosphere and find a cart package, and that would be that. It wouldn't be too hard. Um, but there wasn't one. So I actually constructed Dobies and you know, uh, learned all the intricacies of how carts needed to work and uh, how Stripe would function for uh, orders like this. Um, this. I just put this package together today um, that takes some of the main concepts for, that I learned when with constructing Dobies and uh, makes it easy for people to reuse it. So. Um, if you wanted to use this package in your application, it's really straightforward. I have an example app that is pretty simple that I've just got a bunch of kind of sample products loaded in with uh, some randomly generated prices on them, a very simple products collection. Um, the route is just really simple in here also that we're just sending out products. If we look at the actual page, all you have to really do to use the cart is to include a cart summary. And then if you uh, don't have your items that are backed by data, you can uh, just pass in various attributes for the price and name. Uh, if they do have those attributes in them, then you can just add a cart item button to it. Um, and that gives you a rough, this is my rough uh, implementation of how this would work, that you can add items to a cart. You can see the summary up here changing as I add things to it. We have a little page where we can view what's in there and remove items from the cart also. And it's got Stripe integration built right into it that I can uh, very quickly uh, type in some information here. And we have a payment that went through on test mode in Stripe. And it all comes through in the Stripe dashboard right away. So it's pretty straightforward and easy to uh, implement a shopping cart that has tight Stripe integration. Okay. That's it. Yeah, it's just defined one extra route um, in the package. So you have to ha you have to use Iron Router in your application and just put something at slash cart that gives you the the preview there. So I do plan on cleaning this up a little bit since I just made it today. Um, the docs are a little light on how it actually works, but I'll have that cleaned up in the next few days. Any other questions for Nate? Okay, thank you, Nate. Thanks.